Today, Alger Delta Co-op gathered for their 79th annual meeting. TV6's Nicole Buckman has details on their annual report and how the association is moving forward for the future. It was a beautiful day for a picnic. A picnic meeting, that is. Today, over 400 members of the Alger Delta Cooperative Electric Association gathered for their annual meeting. It gives us a chance to show them how much we appreciate them. Uh, being a member of a, uh, a co-op comes with some responsibilities and we appreciate that. Uh, so it's just a really good time to be with our members and uh, celebrate how far we've come. 2017 marks Eldred Delta's 80th year of nonprofit electric cooperation. Today's meeting included food and fun for members' families, but also a board meeting to go over the 2016 year. We had a very good year. Uh, we've had seven years in a row now where we've really performed well. We've met all of the obligations that are required of us by regulators and lenders, and uh, we're just really hitting on all cylinders. The board's new business proposed an increase to their energy optimization program. With this increase, an average 600 kilowatt user would be charged 84 cents more per month. The other issues proposed were LED lighting tariffs and an industrial rate class. The board not only addressed new business to their members, but also introduced new seating. I'm fortunate that I was elected this year to sit on the board representing District 7. Uh, and I'm certainly looking forward to that and uh, hope to do the best that I can to help the co-op continue to be successful. After discussing with members, the new board moved to adopt these proposals to move forward. In 2018, we're just looking forward to uh, growing and becoming stronger and better equipped to serve our members uh, more effectively and more efficiently. Alger Delta plans to continue their electrical development work with Ojibwa Casino, Eagle and Akiwala Mine. Nicole Buckman, TV6 News, Escanaba.